I've been wearing a lot of IDs this week because it's my birthday week. So came out with another one. This one is a little bit older. It's from 2015. And it is what I refer to as the What the Shorty Air Hirachi Run. Now, the purpose of me making these back then was, and I'm going to tell you, if you ever work in, or even more so, if you ever manage a shoe store, there'll be certain shoes that you come to hate because people always want them. People act like they all, all they can wear is that specific shoe because it's hot. And in 2015, that was the Air Hirachi run. 2014 too, but especially 2015. Hype was real. Everybody wanted all white, all black, and all red Hirachis. And this is a classic silhouette, you know, came out in 1991. Uh, it's definitely one of the shoes I remember from the early 90s uh, wanting. So I tried to make a Hirachi that kind of, for one, it encompassed all the Hirachi colorways I own personally, but also something completely different than what people were asking me for every single day, um, which were all white Hirachis, all red Hirachis, or all black Hirachis. So, um, and this was at a time where Nike ID offered a lot more options than they offer right now. And I don't even think the Hirachi is on Nike ID right now, but it had been on there for years. So, got a glow in the dark bottom, you know, you've got your speckled midsole with the pink. You know, you've got a pink mud guard and panels. You've got a gray liner. I forget what they call a green, but it's not Volt. It's something else uh, for the back and the tongue logo, as well as uh, gray sock liner. Well, the actual liner is navy blue. But, yeah, just something different. I'm all about colors on Nike ID. Like I said in my last shoe rotation video, why make an ID that's just a color you can go buy in the store? So, and then it comes with the Nike ID boxes before they really started calling it Nike by you. So, that is Thursday. Friday came with another classic. Uh, you can tell this is an older shoe by the box. They haven't done this brown box with all of the Nike classic logos on it probably since 2012 going into 2013. But one of my favorite shoes of all time, the Nike Air Max 95 Neon. Now this is the 2010 pair. So there are some subtle differences. It doesn't have a vault insole and the toe is black, but everything else is pretty much the same. And I'm kind of on the fence because I know that the new pair comes out about two weeks. Well, the 17th, today is the 6th. So in 11 days, so a little less than two weeks, these come out again. Um, this pair is from 2010, but it's, it's made really well, which says a lot compared to a lot of the other um, Air Max 95s from that time weren't made that well. I had a few, like my fresh water's already crumbled, and I had to kind of retire those. My hyper blue ones from a year after this um, aren't holding up as well as these either. But, you know, this is a colorway you've got to have. I just, <laughs> ah, a lot of memories, a lot of memories. I remember these came out <laughs> Here we go again. when I was in ninth grade, 1995. Um, there wasn't really a lot of vault going on. I call that era the Tommy Nautica and Polo Renaissance because that was what was hot. You had urban clothes coming in, but they weren't as hot as Tommy Nautica and Polo. And they, Tommy and Polo used to use vault sometimes, but I hadn't seen that yet on any of their, their clothes. So 
I remember a lot of the drug dealers and the rich kids at my high school just wearing these with a white t-shirt. <laughs> just plain white, you know, because um, it didn't, you know, it didn't go with anything. And since the OG and pretty much every other retro but this has a gray toe, you know, they were like this as an OG. You could just play off the black. And I guess you could play off the black on these two because the midsole's always been black. But yeah, that's how I remember people wearing them back in the day. And then I remember they brought these back in like fall of 97, which was new. You know, to bring an Air Max back that soon. Um, then they came out again in 1999. They were everywhere. They came out in 2001 as a JD exclusive. They came out in 2003 and 2004. They came out in two, at the end of 05 in the history of Air Pack. Um, they came out in 2008. This pair is 2010. They came out in the OG pack in 2012, which is where they had all the Air Maxes look old on purpose. But with this shoe, you can't really do that. So it looked like a regular neon. And then they came out last in 2015, and then they had the box that sort of looked like the OG box. Wasn't exactly the same, but it was close. So <clears throat> these have been out a lot. That's why it's crazy for me to see people beasting over them, but I guess, you know, if you haven't really been in this for that long, you know, I can see the excitement, but this is one of the many shoes, and I don't mean to be a jerk saying this, but this is one of them shoes to me, if you don't have it, it's because you don't want it. These have been out so many times. If you've been in the shoes any amount of time, you should either have a pair or have had a pair of these. So that's just me, though. You know, I'm uh people might think I'm a hater for saying that, but I love these, obviously. And then yesterday, you know what box that is, Jordan One box. Air Jordan One biohack. Now I'm going to take out both shoes because these are the first shoes that I own that were authenticated by eBay. Some sneaker kind had done before with the authentication process, but now eBay is doing it. So if you, you know, have the eBay app pulled up on your phone or there is a paper I think I kept it. Yeah, there's a paper that kind of explains it. So it says, authentic without a doubt. Congratulations on adding another pair of sneakers to your collection. The enclosed pair have been meticulously inspected by a team of professional authenticators. To learn more about your sneakers' authenticity, hold your NFC-enabled device near the authenticity guarantee tag until you receive a prompt. Then tap to view detailed information about your sneakers. Enjoy your new sneakers, and thanks for choosing eBay. So that's, that's pretty good. You know, I, I've been on eBay for a long time, and back in the early 2000s, man, <laughs> there was so much foolery going on with the, with the fakes, man. It was, it was crazy. But um, this is a pair of shoes that... I really wanted when they came out right after we closed on this new house. They came out the day after, matter of fact. And I had the sneakers that pulled up because I was going to try to get them. And it was a lot going on. The movers were here with our stuff. There were some uh, guys here from Happy Home, which they handle stuff involving appliances and air conditioning, heating and cooling, all that kind of stuff. So um, they were here. It was a lot going on. My wife was, you know, in three places at once. It was, it was crazy. So I kind of got distracted. We had an issue with our air conditioner because 
the moving company, not the moving company, the realty company hired some idiot to come cut the grass and he took out our air conditioning line. Like it was just a whole thing. So I missed these because of that. So to be able to get them, this was a, an assist from the wife. Um, we wore these together yesterday. It's nice to to finally have these. First, I was just going to chalk it up just because I do have the undefeated dunks that these were lightly based on from 2005. But to me, this is still a very different shoe. I mean, it's kind of got the dunk vibes with the flap. You know, with the flaps. Well, I can't do this flap because the eBay tag is still on here. But, you know, it's still got dunk vibes. I mean, they didn't put colors like this on Jordan 1s, even in the 2000s. You know, it's even got Volt underneath here. So, you know, very nice shoe, different, ugly, but like good ugly. So, yeah, yeah. So those were the shoes that I've worn at the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, that's from a tripod that I'm trying to put together. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you already aren't, at ShortyC94. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.